Hello friends, may the great name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be glorified. We are in the series of the spiritual warfare, putting on the whole armor of God. Today we will be looking at the breastplate of righteousness. In our last lesson we learned about the belt of truth as the first piece of the whole armor of God. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life and it is only through him that we come to God. A typical armed soldier wore a breastplate of bronze or chain mail. It covered the vital organs, namely the heart, and was fitted with loops or buckles that attached it to the thick belt. If the belt was loosened, the breastplate slipped right off. The breastplate of righteousness refers to the righteousness purchased for us by Jesus at the cross. At salvation, a breastplate is issued to each repentant sinner. It is specially designed by God to protect our heart and soul from evil and deception. Our own righteous acts are no match for Satan's attacks. The breastplate of righteousness has Christ's name stamped on it, as though he said, Your righteousness is insufficient to protect you. Where am I? To put on the breastplate of righteousness, we must first have the belt of truth firmly in place. Without truth, our righteousness will be based upon our own attempts to impress God. When we acknowledge that apart from Christ, we can do nothing, we see ourselves as in Christ and that, regardless of our failures, his righteousness has been credited to our account. As we wear Christ's breastplate of righteousness, we begin to develop a purity of heart that translates into actions. Wearing this breastplate creates a lifestyle of putting into practice what we believe in our hearts. When we allow sin in our lives and do not take time to have an intimate relationship with God, we, in effect, take off the breastplate of righteousness, minimizing its power to protect us. When armor is abused or worn incorrectly, it can malfunction. When we keep our eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, then we can keep our breastplate securely fastened. In our next lesson, we will learn about the third piece of the armor, the shoes of the gospel of peace. 